All right, we'll try, um, what was it? Red Main Knight Ogre. Well, I would assume she doesn't continue to heal in her second phase after she hits you, because that would be too much. I don't know. So as soon as I saw second phase, I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to know. Yeah. So I didn't read. So Red Main Knight Ogre is... Wait, you were going to look at different weapons as well before you go in and have a look? Uh, the Dark Green Greatsword. Uh, yes, because of the Frost Builder. So we'll have Red Main Knight. And you use this weapon, I forgot to ask. This one? Mm hmm Yeah, I can use it. Oh yeah, you did loads of damage with that. 800. And 60. But only if it hits. Well, yeah, obviously. You won't do frost build up if you're doing that spell. Uh, will I not? No, I don't think I so. A thousand and twenty-three. Yeah, but it's not going to do frost build up. I think frost build up is the skill of the weapon. So I think that it has to be hit with the weapon, not the art. It's not a skill. It's not an, a thing oh, of the art. Interesting. You got knocked over. Oh. That's why Ogre's good for this. I'm gonna bonk them. When you say bonk them. Do a jump attack. I guess I could. 711. Yeah. Nice. Oh. What's okay. Oh, jump attacks. I know, that's why I suggested it. Okay. I kind of wasn't expecting that to work. Careful. I know. Oh! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! Right. To ribbons, babe. To ribbons. Well, that's why Ogre's good, is because she gets knocked over. Uh, little tip: she doesn't dodge night sorceries. Well, the sort of uh, the night maiden's mist is a good option to go. For. Oh yeah, because she's just cost constantly walking towards me. Of course. Yeah. Seeing this fight gives me bad memories. I still think the jump attack's the way to go. Yeah. Um, but... So Summon get... buff. Jump attack. Until dead. Especially You don't if... want to try Nightmare's Mist? No, because you're you're trying an offensive thing. You'll just okay. end up walking into it. And uh, then, because she's so aggressive... Buff. Charge. Yep. Yeah, Nice. Nice. Alright, so she does back off a little bit. Well, yeah, because you're obliterating her doing that. Oh, no. I think you need to jump to the side, not back to when you're doing that. Yeah. Also, it's um because I'm rolling, I'm not going far enough by going backwards. Yeah, but it did say that you're best off doing that because she'll yeah. just take out all your stamina. Uh, I don't mean miss, there's other night sorceries. Oh yeah, there's obviously like night shard, there's um, night comet, there's stuff like that, but we haven't really used any of those since we got them. It's only been night maidens, isn't it? Only because we can really like obliterate people using such a stupid mechanic mm -hmm. in the game yeah. that shouldn't be a mechanic. But it is. I think that was a good technique, what we were doing. I think it's the way to go. Just need to practice that doing it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a bad time. Yeah. Good. Heal up. Careful. Oh, that wasn't a what's foul dance. Interesting. No, but it was a big lunge. Yeah. Stay away from my knife! Backstab? Oh, no. <gasps> Why did that not work? It's because I stayed still. If I jumped forward slightly, it would have worked. Oh! I think you jumped a bit too early there. Yeah. Ooh, nice dodge. Maybe jump... Maybe dodge towards them. I'm trying, but I don't... Have it Like... I'm trying to dodge towards her, but I'm still getting caught in end lag off doing a Ooh, move. Oh, I think she might have... No. No, not yet. 
Oh, no buff. Yeah. Ogre hasn't been hit as well. Interesting. I mean, if he's just going to stay and be a, uh, an archer, that's great. Uh, there's just not a safe time to do it. Ooh, is that with a grab? No. I'm not like a grab. Well, she didn't work. Does he stay in one place? Is he gonna come? Oh, jump rather than roll. You got no healing. I know. Do you have any talismans that increase frost? Uh, not frost, no. Mm -hmm. Do you have any weapon, uh, any armor that, no. Ooh, she does take a lot of damage from Night Raiders Mist, you know. But she's getting distracted by Ogre now. That's fine. I don't think she's weak to magic. No, especially when it doesn't hit her. Yeah, well, you could use um, the spiral. Maybe grab it in there. <laughs> Not on a horse. It wasn't that. It's just the fact that she just... Oh, yeah, you, you're doing a spell. No, I'm dodging that, thanks. Try grab Gravy magic. Gravity magic. One more. Yeah. Two seconds. How much is that? Yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's targeting though, that's the thing, it's it's kind of like homing oh, in. Oh, it's her. the stagger. Mm-hmm. Right, but okay. then so both of you are staggering her a bit. Ooh, careful. Roll too early. Yeah. Right. Let's try doing Rani's Dark Moon. Well no, let's do Rock Sling, because if she gets staggered, then that's always gonna be helpful. So Ogre in, then Lantern on, Rock Sling on, because she's got the same thing that other enemies have, is input reading the spell, but not the attack of the spell. And Gravity Magic in general seems to be doing fairly well, so that's okay. Yeah. I wonder whether having the meteorite staff would actually uh, be more beneficial than the Karian Scepter if we're not using Rani's Dark Moon. Probably not just in terms of the sheer numbers of scaling and so on, right? Nice. Keep getting knocked over. One ogre. Yep, she's been staggered again. Dashing towards me. Right. I think if she decides to do that attack, if you're already doing something, you're kind of dead. But like, there is not enough time to react to what she's doing to start to be like, I'm going to start sprinting in a straight line, whichever direction it is. You can't spam. Yeah, I've, I've said that before. It's like, in some of these games, when the enemy is just very aggressive, it's like, nope, you've got to got to be patient. But being patient feels like you're just being passive. Oh okay, no! Stop hitting my knight! Yeah. Okay, so... It's like... I'd want to do rock sling and then take a pause after every rock sling to see if he's gonna start doing something. Oh, I roll backwards. Okay. Early dodge. 
That was hit through the shield. I guess it is a, just a factor of this type of boss fight is you just have to keep dodging and keep going. Thank you, Ogre. Alright, don't do it again. Okay, knocked over, thank you. Start running. There we go. I mean, I guess if you were doing this as a, a strength greatsword build, in theory you can actually just stagger her just by poisoning through hits. But if you can stun lock her in a corner like this, that's pretty good. Was fell down? No? I think she got hit out of it. The good thing about gravity stuns is stacking them. Yeah. Uh, and gravity she's magic, st so stuck good. in the corner at this point. If you're going to use gravity magic more though, you should probably consider using a staff. Well, no, they, the they said to... that um, the meteorite staff kind of doesn't compare when your uh, that... other staffs are at plus 12-ish. Okay, fair enough. I didn't she's know that. She's just getting stun locked here. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we want to see the second phase, dude. Well, we will see the second phase. Not at this rate. Oh, we will. Oh, you think her second phase is before her health bar disappears? We don't know, do we? I think it is the second phase. You can poise through her and she does too much damage to ignore her, though. Yeah, I suppose that's true. No, don't be dead. I'm back with a vengeance. You think okay. she's going to become a big-ass flower? Maybe. Oh, the tree's got a Mikella. face. Mikella's in the tree. Face. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait. Oh, oh Scarlet Rock. Oh, she is turning into a flower. So like the one where we got the traveler's set. Armor's gone. The scarlet bloom flowers once more. Wings. Oh, she's going. Oh man, look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh she flies. Alright, well. You will witness true horror. We will continue to do rock sling if she flies. <laughs> oh, she's flying now. Mm-hmm. You taking off your snow you're keeping it okay. No. Rot. <laughs> Second phase time. Oh dude, she's so cool! She is indeed. Alright, so flowers coming off her head. No Olga, don't go into it. Oh, but look how much damage she's taken already. She is, I guess. What's Pal Dance? No? Okay. She's doing a lot more damage though. Yeah. Like a shit lot more damage. Have you got healing? She can still get knocked over? Well, yeah, you shot her, didn't you? I wasn't expecting to still be able to get knocked over, although she isn't flying all the time, I guess. But she is definitely moving quicker now. Go, 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 quick. Bagger. Bagger. The butterfly's coming off her as oh, well. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, she's not taking a lot of damage in this bit. Wait, are you only in butterfly? I would assume so. She is taking a lot of damage. I'm wondering whether actually fire might be more effective in this phase because she Possibly. is now Scarlet Rot. Oh, that's the Waterfowl Dance! Oh! <laughs> <sighs> oh, that was good. That was really good. That was good. <laughs> She oh, starts so the second cool. phase with lower HP. Right. That makes sense. I was like, I'm sure I'm not doing as much damage as I was before. Yeah, I think we should do the fire sword in the second phase because she's... Yeah, well, I've rock. got the fire sword on. Yeah. 
Have you? I thought yes. you took it off to put the other shit sword on. Uh, no. Okay. Because um, I'm wearing heavier armor. Got you. You could always come and do this later. I guess, yeah. She is a. This is an optional area. I could mm -hmm. come back. I mean, I have another somber ancient dragon smithing stone, so I could actually upgrade my scepter to be plus 10. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I guess. But it feels like we're here. We've managed to get her to a second phase. It's not, like, impossible. You got her quite far down in the second phase as well. I think I only got her down, like, a third of her HP. Yeah, so that's like. 1.33 damage. Yes, basically. that is a third of her HP, you are correct. Good. Oh. No, you gotta, you gotta rank. Got her little ankles. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That is the problem with gravity magic, is that because it's such a long spell to cast, Maybe you should do shortened spell casting time. Uh, I've already got that on with Radagon Icon. Is there not another one? Uh, Azure's staff, but I don't think that's a good option for me right now compared to just doing it with... The other option is I could try it with Lucet's staff, but I'm trading off uh, casting time for damage. And then also the primal glintstone costs less FP, gets counteracted by Lucent staff, which costs more HP. Hmm. Right, dead. No, not. No, dead. I'm dead. Dead. I'm dead. dead. I'm dead. If I. <laughs> okay, that one I got lucky on. No, you dodged. I did dodge, yes. But what I'm saying is that I recognise that she was starting waterfowl dance. I had already started doing a cast with Roxley, it was very likely I would have died. I can kneel down. Uh, he's moving slightly forward, I think. Like, it, it's not like they run out of arrows or anything, so... No, no. Although he is... I'm just wondering if he's going into sword thing. Probably. Again, I got lucky because I was far enough away on that one. It seems to be, don't get anywhere near her, really. <laughs> like, oh, do an attack, run away. Do an attack, run away. Yeah. But that, that's so boring. Like, I, I understand casting is not a particularly interesting playstyle without using cool spells and we're kind of abusing the fact that Roxling can stagger over and over again but the idea of I'll hit and then I'll run I'll hit and then I'll run it's just well. I don't agree with that okay I like this style you, of you like through. the hit then run hit then run it's a different playstyle but I play it very different to you because I play squishy mage like really squishy mage and on both yeah. anything apart from intelligence mm -hmm. and mind. All right, we'll go to the round table hold and we'll have a look ogre and so on. You don't have to use some smashies then. Yeah, yeah, I've got loads. That's probably a good reason, good thing that I didn't use them all. I wonder if the finger reader has anything from um, Millicent. Mm, why would she have anything from Millicent? Because we've already got her armor. Mm. She had the Valkyrie's prosthesis, but that was a key item we gave her. We haven't... Hmm. I mean, I'll have a look just in case, but... Mm. No remembrances. Oh, no, no, there's nothing No there. equipment. Yeah, okay. Nothing new. Nothing new. I would advise to try her before the last boss of the game. Okay, well that's assuming we know when the last boss of the <laughs> that, game that is. That sounds like I would advise you to stop what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how many of these? 5,000? Use 4. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 10,000 more to get into plus 9. 8,000 yeah. more. Well, yeah, sorry, I meant the actual cost for him. Mm. 
Mm. That should be enough, right? 10,300? Three Three oh. No, one thing. And I nice. can get them up to plus 10 as well. Should we level up the sword you're using currently? Can you? I might be able to, I'm not sure. Uh, no, I do not have Somber Smithing Stone 8, fortunately. Okay. Um, we have your bell bearing. Yes, I'll do that, and I think I will upgrade the Carrion Scepter to plus 10. You don't want to see if you get a better Scepter or anything? Well, I, I already spent the Remembrance on this one, so I'm kind of committed to it, I think. I'm sure I'll get another Somber uh, Dragon Smithing Stone, I'll spend it on something else instead then. Got this at plus 10 now. Uh, I think that's about it. So, yes, Ghost, Glove Wart, Picker, Bell Bearing. The, the, the reason that I was going to suggest we do the icy area a bit more is because we might get more ice spells. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Which you, would then be point. useful for this area. But I mean, I think you should try it one more time. One more time. Yeah, there we go. Seven, eight, nine. Nine. But I need somber eight, not ghost glove wart eight. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not really. Uh, <laughs> you can try her as many times as you want. It took hundreds and hundreds of tries for some streamers. Not sure with or without summons. And yes, the, try her before the final boss of the game. At that point, you'll be the strongest you can possibly be. Uh, I guess you could always spend time grinding and so on, but yeah. Let's see how much of a difference having Ogre at level 9 compared to level 6 makes. Yeah, in theory it might just make him a bit faster. I think it'll just give him more HP and more it damage. It doesn't always though, because it made the rats have multiple rats, for example. But th those are a special case. Maybe he gets an extra spell. <laughs> Didn't hit actually. That one. Oh! Dodge. Ah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that did double damage. He was doing 120, it did 212, Sweet. not quite double, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like 100 additional. Nice. Oh, that did 250, yeah, so it is double. Sometimes. Sometimes. And frosted as well. Well, yeah, because I was able to get a good few hits in straight away. Yeah, it's, he's doing double the amount of damage. Oh. From what I can tell. On, get knocked over, please. I think it is gravity magic that is what she's particularly weak to. No, no. I mean, staggered by, not yeah. weak to. Yeah. Come on, get knocked over, please. Right, I might be able to do the buff after that final attack on that string. I wouldn't. I wouldn't risk it, because no. if she hits you, she gets her health back. Yeah, exactly. So I think do it when it's safe, and only when it's safe. Now mm -hmm. she should get knocked over by this one. Nope. nope. What? Come on, Ogre. Yes, um. now. Oh, no buff. Okay. I need to be right. close for it to attack. I thought you were just going to buff yourself. I didn't realise you were using it as a link attack. <laughs> didn't get any health from that. She doesn't gain health from Waterfowl Dance. From what I could tell there, okay. I don't think she did. Uh, Alright, let's just try doing, Can't it, say that for definite, doing the buff without having to worry about actually attacking her. There is a bit of an area of effect of the... A little bit, but not a lot. You need to FP at some point as well. Yep. There you go. Oh. <laughs> You're out of... I know, yeah, I realised, but I was already in the attack animation. No, no. Run! <laughs> run away, run away, run away! <laughs> oh, that was a bit different. I've not uh, seen that attack for a 
bit. Oh, the lightning strike can stagger her. Okay. There's an arrow sticking out of belly button. It is. <laughs> Oof. Ouch. You are so mean to this girl. She deserves it. For doing what? For having attacks that don't stop. Okay. You are getting... I was going to say you're getting better at avoiding dying, but then you died. Never mind. Yeah, we should come back and do this later. You are too squishy. Every single attack she does, does heal her, even specials like the kick, the dance, or the grab. I think it did less than some of them, though. I think some of them do more healing. Mm. Okay. So I th I'm sure that she didn't have that much... Well, anyway. 